if we're looking for the amplitude on a graph, the amplitude on the graph is half the distance. the max to the min. Yeah. Use the watch as well. Okay, so it's half the distance. So if we count from our min to max the distance, from the lowest to the highest, we can divide it by 2, we get the amplitude. There's also a formula we can use that does that for us. The amplitude, can we write amp? Amp is like a standard of measurement in amperes. So we can't write amp. We have to write amplitude. We do not short form. Amplitude equals the absolute value of the max minus the min divided by 2. The absolute value is the max minus the min divided by 2. And that will, what that will do is that will count from the minimum to the maximum, and that will count the total distance, and then you'll just divide it by 2. So let's go back to our actual graphs, the very first one. We're going to find the amplitude of it. The very front page. So our amplitude short form, equals the absolute value of the maximum. What's the maximum? Three. Three. Minus the minimum. What's the minimum? Negative three. Negative three. And then we divide by two. What happens if we get minus a minus? It's actually a positive. So we get the absolute value of six divided by two. Does anyone know what the absolute value does? Why? It is true. Why doesn't we just learn that? Every answer is positive because the definition of an absolute value is the distance from zero. So distance can only be positive, right? So if I had negative six in an absolute value, how far is negative six from zero? Six. How far is six from zero? Six. So an absolute value just takes that number and makes it positive because it's a distance. It's a distance from zero. So we're going to get six divided by two, which is three. Now we could just count it. How far is it from the min to the max? One, two, three, four, five, six. Bless you. So from the min to the max, it is six. <laughs> and if we divide by two, that is three. So we could just count from the min to the max. Now what I'm going to have you do, every single one of you is going to do this because it will help us with the next thing, is we count up three, make an arrow from the min, count down three. And if our amplitude is right, those arrows will meet. Correct? So we draw that line. Everyone should do this. It will help you out in the next thing that we do. So this is the line, and the line where they meet is on the x-axis. What's the equation of the x-axis? Remember the equation of an x-axis is not an x equals line. It's a y. It's y equals 0. Because every single thing on this line is y equals this is, is y equals Zero, every single thing on there. So actually horizontal lines are y equals one. So this one is at y equals zero. Vertical lines are x equals one. So the x-axis is the line y equals zero. Okay, next one. Let's find the amplitude of this one. So amplitude equals the absolute value of the max, which is six. Minus the min, which is negative 2, divided by 2. What's 6 minus the minus 2? 8. 8. The absolute value of 8. What's the absolute value of 8? Just 8. So it's 4. How do we know we're right? Count up 4, count down 4, they should meet. Because it's half the vertical distance, right? And everyone's going to do this because we're going to need it later. So this is 1, 2, Three, four, I stop at two, and I count down four. One, two, three, four, and I stop at two. So my equation is at y equals what?
So they should meet at the same spot, right? This next one, we don't have the full mins and maxes, but we do have that it starts here and it stops here and goes past the max. So that's half of it, right? And then it's going to go another half to get me to 12. Okay, how many did I count up? This maximum was at 3, right? So what's this minimum going to be at? Negative 3. So I do my amplitude. Which equals the maximum, which is 3, half the value. Minus the minimum, which is negative 3, divided by 2. I get 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And I have to count down 3, count up 3. And they both meet at where? The x axis, which is? Someone said it. Y equals 0. Okay, you're going to flip over. There's four, five, six, seven on the back. Try those ones out, and then we'll move it on. So the amplitude of four equals the absolute value of 0 0.8 minus negative 0 0.8 divided by 2, which is 0 0.8. I count up 0 0.8. I count down 0 0.8. And it meets at y equals 0. Now, they don't all meet at y equals 0. You actually have to draw them out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We already had one that didn't. This one, your absolute is 4 and your minimum is, your maximum is 4 and your minimum is negative 4. So amplitude equals absolute value of 4 minus negative 4 divided by 2, which is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. We count down 4, we count up 4, and once again equals y equals 0, but they don't always, we already had one that didn't. Six. Um, max is 5, min is negative 5, so our amplitude, oh my gosh, the struggle is real. equals 5 minus negative 5 divided by 2, which is 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Count down 5, count up 5, and we meet at y equals 0. We meet at y equals 0 when the graph is symmetrical about the x-axis, right? But if the graph is below the x-axis or above the x-axis more, then it won't be y equals 0, right? And then 7... This, or this is like the one we had in the other one. So instead we're going to go up 6, and then this would just keep going right here. It's going to be top. Um, so our amplitude, again, equals the absolute value of the max, which is 6, minus the min, divided by 2, which is 12 over 2, which is... For these ones, I want the amplitude and the, and the amplitude. So, quickly. I don't care if you don't put it in the right spots. Just find the amplitude for both. So this one has an amplitude. Equal to my maximum is 2. My minimum is negative 4. Absolute value divided by 2. So that's a distance of 6 divided by 2. So it's 3. And we can count it, right? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a distance of 6. Right? The formula just works to get that distance of 6 if you don't want to count it. So we're going to count down 3. We're going to count up 3 from the minimum. And they meet at y equals negative 1. Okay? Then this one, 
our amplitude, again, equals our maximum, which is 7 minus 1 all over 2, which is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Because it's a distance of 6. Count from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to count up 3 from my minimum. I'm going to count down 3 from my maximum. And where am I meeting at? Y equals 4. You know what we found on every single one of these? The midline. But there's also a formula for it. So we're going to go to our notes again. Our notes for the next page. <coughs> Well, it's two pages, but, you know. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the midline. See how it says a line? It's a y equals line. You have to write y equals. Okay? So the midline formula is y equals. What we're trying to find for the midline is we're trying to find the average between the max and the min. Correct? So if I gave you two marks, if I gave you two marks that you had on test and I asked you what the average of those two marks were, what would you do? Yeah, add up the two numbers and divide by two, and we're dividing by two because there's two numbers, correct? So the midline is literally just the average formula of two marks. That's what it is. Because you're taking the maximum and you're taking the minimum, and you're adding them up, and you're dividing by two to find the, the middle, find the average between the max and the min. That's all you're doing. So the midline formula is y equals max plus min divided by two. No absolute values. Because as we've seen already, our midline can be negative, correct? We've drawn all of our midlines already. We're just going to use this formula to convert to confirm our midlines. And our midline is the horizontal line. That cuts the graph in half. that horizontal line that cuts the graph in half, right? Between the max and the min. So if we drew our amplitude up and we drew our amplitude down, we actually found the middle, correct? We found the midline, and we can do it that way. But we can also just use the formula. So we're going to go back to the very first example again. Go right back to the very first page. Flip to the very front of the booklet. So I have a midline at zero. Well, let's prove it. Our midline is y equals our maximum. Our maximum on this one is 3 plus our minimum, which is negative 3 divided by 2. 3 plus negative 3 is 0 divided by 2, which is y equals 0. We just proved it. It's the exact same, correct? As the line we found when we made our amplitude z. Right? Yeah, let's prove it for number two. So our midline, we're hoping to get y equals two because that's what we have here. So our midline is max, which is six minus, or sorry, y equals max, six minus min, negative two, divided by two, half plus. I want to see amplitude here. We add the two and divide by two to get our midline, right? To get our average. So it's going to be four divided by two. So it's going to be y equals Two. It's exactly what we had here, right? So it's max plus min divided by two. Max plus min divided by two, because you're averaging the two numbers. And with this one, we're getting a midline of zero. Let's prove it. So our midline is y equals, and everyone forgets the y equals. You need y equals or it's not a line. It's a number sitting on your page. So our midline is our max plus our min, which is negative three divided by 2, which is 0 divided by 2, so it's y equals 0. Did it match what we drew? Yeah. You have 4 on the next page and 2 on the next page. Prove your amplitude. Make the ones that amplitude down, amplitude up, now prove your midline using them, using this formula. So go through and do 4, 5, 6, 7, and the other 2.
And what number should you be getting? The same as your line you drew, right? If you don't get it, put your hand up. 